Well, it's that time again. India Motorcycle and Jack Daniels have teamed up to launch a limited edition motorcycle. And I'm here in Jack's hometown, Lynchburg, Tennessee, and it drops tonight. Hey, Tim, I'm Lexi. We're at the Indian Motorcycle Lynchburg Garage, so let's go in and check it out. So Jack Daniels was the first registered American distillery, and Indian Motorcycle was the first American motorcycle company. So really, it's all about American craftsmanship. Imagine me wearing this, downtown Lynchburg, all the girls whistling, going nuts. Come on. <laughs> well, what do you think? Let's go see Lynchburg. I'm ready. So Lynchburg is actually a very historic town. Okay. Later this month, we are celebrating its 200th birthday. Wow. Yes. So was Jack Daniels here first or Lynchburg? What came first? Actually, Lynchburg was here first. Okay. But we've been here 155 years of those 200 years that pretty it's been around. Pretty solid run, pretty yes, solid. Yes, absolutely. Now, you can't come to Lynchburg without stopping by Miss Mary Bobo's. Her pie is absolutely phenomenal. Now, Miss Mary Bobo used to feed the inmates and the sheriff here at the old jail. The rumor has it, two inmates had broken out of the jail, and they ended up coming back that night because they missed the food so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the pie. That is the most wholesome outlaw story I've heard all day. <laughs> Hardware store. Yeah, this is a Lynchburg Hardware and General store where we sell Jack Daniels merchandise and also Indian Motorcycle merchandise. Wow. Yeah. So, I say it's time we go test some whiskey. Now Do you're speaking my language. Absolutely. Stoked. What a cool town. Thank you for this tour. Absolutely. I'm so glad you could join us today. Hey, look at this old timer. <laughs> King me. This is one of our barrel houses, and this is where the whiskey stays and ages for the entirety of its life for at least four years. Let's go in and see where the magic happens. So all of our whiskey is aged in American white oak. They are toasted and charred on the inside, and that's what gives you a lot of that flavor. All right, so this is a five-year-old barrel, okay. and uh, I think it'll be a good one to tap. All right. So when the whiskey starts coming out, if you want to try to catch it. I'm waiting for my whole life for this opportunity. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Grandma would be so proud. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a bigger bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the color of that. So that Tennessee is about- Tennessee gold. Exactly. Five plus years old. That gorgeous amber brown. Smells like heaven. Very smooth for yes. around 130. Fantastic. It yeah, is. It not you at all, there's no- No. Wow. She's got that vanillas and caramels did you do with that? a little bit of oak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from 16, I did make this whiskey. <laughs> wow. So this is the whiskey that inspired all of the limited edition Indian motorcycles. And we've got them all up on Barbecue Hill. You want to go check them out? Could today get any better? Let's go. <laughs> Tim, this is Brian Clock. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. He's with Clockworks. He's the one who's designed all of the special edition Indian motorcycles. Wow. He has been with us since the beginning of our partnership. Hey, what do we got, man? So this is the first one we ever did, and we call it codename JD150 because right. it, was, it was designed to celebrate 150 years of Jack. For some reason, Jack Daniels always says to me, gold and gold and antique cream speak spoke vintage, right? right? So we did it. Nobody thought we'd do it. We sold them in eight hours. The next year they said, what if we did it again, Brian? The reason this bike is white and gray is because the charcoal mellowing, right? All the, all the whiskey goes through the charcoal. They make their own ricks here. They burn everything. And so that was the key to this whole bike was how can we bring in the charcoal mellowing process and see if we can sell a hundred. We killed it. This on one's it. my favorite. Right, and that's just because this thing looks like an absolute hot rod. You just want to go rip on it. The beauty of it is Jack Daniels is the only whiskey in the entire world with their own fire brigade. And they came out with a bobber, and so we designed this to match the fire trucks. So this is the fire brigade bike, and we made 177 of these. Always got to have that number seven in there somewhere. After we, after we did 100, we went to back to 177. Nine minutes. Single barrel has a little more pop than anything else. So does this bike. It's the first Indian ever to come with a 116 motor right from the factory. We kept with the attitude thing, gave it some black uh, mini ape hanger handlebars, and you can pop that windshield off in seconds. So it doesn't matter if you want to be the street cruiser or you want to go from here to Denver, go for it, right? Right. Single barrel select is much about the gray as anything because it's just this high end thing. So that's where we picked up the different layers of charcoal, the single barrel logos, 
And Gentleman Jack is one of the smoothest whiskeys that they make. So if you get somebody who's not a Jack fan, we try to get them on the Gentleman, okay? If you get somebody who's not a motorcycle fan, just go ahead and try this. Like, right. even if your wife hates riding motorcycles, she's gonna love this one, okay? Heated and cooled seats, the best audio system we have from Indian. Again, huge 116 motor, all the power, all the glitz, all the glam. I mean, speakers, front, rear, and again, Gentleman Jack, charcoal mellowed, you know, all the call outs for gentlemen. Never before had Jack Daniels ever licensed a motorized vehicle. And part of it was that if we're gonna do it, we have to push the responsibility side of it. Bottles and throttles don't mix. So when we did it, nobody thought we were gonna be this successful. And so this is year number five and we're just getting rolling. So y'all, these are the whiskeys that inspired these bikes. We have our 150th, then our single barrel, our gentleman Jack, and then of course our iconic black label, Jack Daniels, old number seven, that everybody knows and loves. Cheers to a great day. Absolutely. Wait a minute, what about the rye? Well, the rye's actually coming tonight, so you're gonna have to wait just a little bit. Okay, I'm watching you. <laughs> So we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. They're filming everything. If you can't see this camera right in my face, let's watch a little video. Is that the deal? Jack Daniels, Indian motorcycle, two American originals. The first registered distillery, founded in 1866. America's first motorcycle company, rooted in 1901. A proud heritage, a passion for craftsmanship, and a drive to push forward each drawing on a storied past to fuel the future. Jack Daniels Tennessee Rye, a bold balance of smoothness and complexity in a whiskey that is 70% rye and 100% Jack. And the Indian Challenger Dark Horse, a revolutionary liquid-cooled V-twin bagger, combining bold, modern, American styling and next-level technology to deliver an unmatched riding experience. Introducing the Jack Daniels Limited Edition Indian Challenger Dark Horse, the boldest statement yet from a bold partnership between two iconic American brands. plus of our best owners and friends uh, on site here. We're just coming off that high, it was a blast. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, they blew the roof off the place. We just did a tour of the distillery. It's just so fun to be around here with owners and with everybody. So this is our army. What a day. We got to tour Lynchburg, Tennessee, hang out with Lexi. She showed us the barrel room. We got to tap a barrel, taste some fantastic whiskey. Got to see some motorcycles with Brian Clock, and here we are, Jack Daniels in Lynchburg. Two iconic brands came together, India Motorcycle and Jack Daniels, to create this, the Indian Challenger Dark Horse inspired by Tennessee Rye Whiskey.